Now, we are going to give a few important results. Some important results on distributions of functions of several variables. The first one, let me start with the continuous type random variable. Let x comma y be a two dimensional continuous type random variables with joint probability density function is given or is known. The first result suppose I make a random variable x as a x plus y, we can find the distribution of z directly that is the probability density function of z is going to be integration from minus infinity to infinity. The joint probability density function of x comma y by replacing x by x whereas y by z minus x. So, this is going to be the probability density function of z when z is x plus y and x and y are two dimensional continuous type random variable with the joint probability density function small f The second result, suppose I have another random variable u that is nothing but the difference of two random variables x comma y, then the probability density function of u as a function of u that is going to be integration from minus infinity to infinity, the joint probability density function of x comma y by replacing x by u plus y and keep the other variable y as it is integration with respect to y. This is for the difference of two random variables. By knowing the joint probability density function of x and y, you can directly get the probability density function of uh, u. Similarly, the third result that is uh, the v is a new random variable that is product of uh, two random variables. You can get the probability density function of uh, v by integrating the joint probability density function by substituting x as x as it is uh, u by v divided by x multiplied by 1 divided by absolute of x dx. This will give the probability density function of v. Similarly, the last result, the random variable w is defined as a x divided by y. Then you can get the probability density function of w by the similar manner. x absolute of x dx. You see in all these four examples, we started with the two dimensional continuous type random variable and we define one random variable z or u or v or w you can get the probability density function of uh, z or u or v or w by using the previous theorem which I explained. The only difference is uh, to apply the theorem you need a n dimensional random variable of transformation into another n dimensional random variable. I 
have uh, explained the theorem with only two dimensional random variable the same concept can be extended to n dimensional random variable so here we started with the two dimensional random variable we are finding the probability density function of a random variable z you can apply the previous theorem by introducing one dummy random variable dummy means uh, you can create uh, any random variable along with z is x plus y such a way that uh, both the assumptions are satisfied and the Jacobian is uh, not 0. Then find the joint probability density function of z with that dummy random variable. After that from the joint probability density function you can always uh, able to get the probability density function of any one random variable using that uh, concept you can get the probability density function of z. That means uh, we are applying the theorem by suitable inclusion of uh, one dummy random variable getting the joint distribution then getting the marginal distribution from the joint distribution. So, that is what uh, this result says the probability density function of z is uh, integration minus infinity to infinity the joint probability density function of x comma y by replacing uh, x by x and uh, replacing y by z minus x. One more remark over uh, this uh, results I have not made the assumption of uh, these random variables are independent or not. If uh, these random variables are independent random variables then you can replace the right hand side joint probability density function by product of probability density functions. Even though I have given the results for uh, in general if the random variables are mutually independent random variables you can replace the joint probability density function by product of probability density functions. So, these four results you can remember and you can use it whenever you want to go for finding the sum or difference or multiplication or division of two random variables. Yes.